Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, hey there, it's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. Welcome to your July monthly readings. Hey, July, all right, we're in the middle of the summer guys, it's great. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Happy birthday to all the Cancers out there. Um, I, this is, today is what? Today is the 8th of July. So we are still in Cancer season. So I hope you guys are all enjoying your birthdays, uh, your birthday season. And to all the Leos out there, your birthdays are coming up. So I'll say happy birthday to you guys now, but we'll get to that next month, yeah? Um, so I did something a little bit differently this time. I wanted to get into the energies first before I started reading for them. I'm not so keen personally on forecasting, on fortune telling. I tell people all the time I am not a fortune teller, okay? I'm more about um, understanding the current energies and bringing clarity to them to help you you know, make the best decision for yourself moving forward. So that's why I waited a little bit before um, I release I put out the, the July monthlies. Also, if you're seeing some smoke, don't worry about it. <laughs> My apartment's not on fire. <laughs> I'm just burning some sage, yeah? Um, let's see, anything else? These are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, if you would like a personal reading, I am very much available for that. You can go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Um, num, 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 num. I think that's it. So what I'm doing with this, the readings this month, I am using the Golden Universal Tarot for the, you know, the general message. And then I'm also getting Oracle Guidance from the Unicorns and the Crystal Mandala deck. And uh, when it comes to the Crystal Mandala deck, I am um, focusing it on, yes, bringing the message forward, but also putting forth the intention that the, whatever crystal comes out, if you feel uh, guided to purchase that crystal so that you can work with it, I highly recommend that you do so. Yes, 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 that's always a fun thing to do. And yeah, I believe that is it for now. So let's get into the reading, yeah? Yay! Hey Libra, welcome to your reading for the month of July. Let's get into it, yeah? Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Librans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Libra for this moment in time of July. And please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. Libra, I'm seeing a lot of light blue around you. <clears throat> It feels very justice-like. And your card is justice here. I feel like you're going to be speaking some truth or you're going to be seeking some justice or justice is going to be coming towards you in some way. That's just what I'm getting here. Hmm. Cool. Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. All right, Libra, one more shuffle, and then I'll cut the deck. All right, here we go. Boop. Okay. Overall energy for you, Libra. We've got, ooh, the Four of Pentacles. Interesting, because when I was, when I was channeling the energy, I was also seeing the King of Pentacles here. So it makes sense. Four of Pentacles. Someone's holding on to something for dear life. Could be you, Libra. Could be somebody else. In relation to the justice situation I was getting, someone could be trying to hold on to an outcome of some sort. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got here. Whoa, guys, I told you about that King of Pentacles. Well, here he is. Hmm. Ooh, and the devil in reverse. 
with the Hermit. Okay. Some of you could be holding on to a situation, like a relationship for dear life. Some of you could be holding on to a King of Pentacles. There could be a King of Pentacles uh, individual around you that is just not letting go of something somehow. I, I, this could be a financial situation. We do have the devil in reverse, um, which could talk about releasing. But in relation to the energy that I've been feeling and the four of pentacles here, I feel like someone is trapped in ego, in, uh, yeah, in ego, in devil energy. And there needs to be a moment where, you know, someone does some introspection. You, you really could be dealing with an earth sign here because we have the king of pentacles, which could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You have the devil, which is which symbolizes Capricorn. And you have the hermit, which symbolizes Virgo. So there could be an earth sign in your life that maybe you're holding on to, you don't want to let go of, you're in some sort of toxic codependent relationship with. Or this person could be feeling this way towards you. But somebody is feeling trapped here. Mm. All right. Let's get into the storyline, shall we? We've got the Seven of Wands. Defensiveness here. And it could be illusionary because my, my, my thought process was just around the fact that you only see the wands that this guy is defending himself against. You don't see the actual people. It could be all in your head. That's what I just heard. Oh, here you are, Libra. Justice. But justice is in reverse. 444 on the counter. Something is, de someone is defending themselves against something that isn't really what it seems to be. It's creating an injustice here. This could be you, Libra. You could be holding on to some sort, something, like some sort of material aspect of your life, maybe. King of Pentacles could be a father figure. You could be trying to defend yourself um, against opposition, opposition in the form of People questioning why you're still maybe in this relationship, why you're still struggling with this, I'll say. Hmm. Let's keep going. We've got the Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah. With the Six of Cups in reverse. Okay. Um, we could be talking a soulmate here. This could be a relationship. This could be... I just heard this could be a twin flame situation. Okay. Un in injustice. Un injustice is what I'm hearing. May it could it could very well be. It could very well be that um, somebody wants to move forward, like rush towards a soulmate a really deep connection, but can't. And they wouldn't be able to do that because of whatever this energy is here with the, the, the devil and the four of pentacles and the king of pentacles. There could be a masculine figure, a father figure, um, someone of status, authority, and power that is blocking you from moving forward in a direction that you want to move in independently is what the Knight of Swords is saying to me. This is this is an independence thing. And someone you have been, whoever I'm speaking to here, this could be you, Libra, or this could be someone connected to you, you have been struggling against this for some time. Seven is standing out here. Seven years, seven months, maybe seven weeks. Who knows? And you feel like justice just is not coming to you. Even though you're standing up for yourself and 
in a way, doing the right thing. But ultimately, the right thing to do here is just to disconnect from this devil. Disconnect from whatever is making you feel like you're chained. Okay, moving forward, we've got the high priestess in reverse. So there is a lack of... Um, I Literally, the first thing I heard when I picked that card up was someone's not listening to their intuition with the hanged man. And the hanged man is in reverse also. So we have the hermit and we have the hanged man. Because the hermit is on the bottom of the deck. You're not listening. Somebody's not listening to their intuition. And they're staying chained to this devil. Their intu so someone's intuition is trying to break through and helps them help you see or help them see things differently, but you're just not listening. You're just not getting it. And I think it's a, because of fear of letting this go. Whatever is being held on to, it's unhealthy. But you're afraid to let it go. Okay? Moving forward, we've got the Queen of Wands in reverse with the Two of Cups. We're talking the soulmate relationship here, guys. And the feminine energy here the feminine energy recognizes the Two of Cups situation. The, I mean, we're really talking soulmates. We've got the Six of Cups and we've got the Two of Cups. We could be talking Twin Flames, uh, Divine Partners. But the Queen of Wands is blocked. Even though she knows this Two of Cups is here, and mind you, when I say he or she, I'm talking energies, not gender. Um, but even though she knows that this Two of Cups, this soulmate bond is here, and she's also aware of the Six of Cups because she's looking right at it, she's blocked. Because the masculine energy in this situation is still stuck in this devil energy. Hmm. Okay, moving forward, we've got the Eight of Wands in reverse. No communication, uh, no movement either with the Ace of Cups. There is a new emotional start here. But there's no movement towards it. The Ace of Cups, all, and it's, the Ace of Cups is upright. The Ace of Cups can also talk about unconditional love for the self and for others too. Somebody wants to take some action towards this Ace of Cups. But communication is cut off. Action is blocked. And it's all because of this devil energy. Like someone really feels really fucking stuck. <laughs> Excuse my language, but someone feels really, really stuck. And they don't know how to get out of it. And they keep fighting and fighting and fighting, but justice just does not seem to come. But justice is not going to come from fighting against whatever this opposition is here with the Seven of Wands. Whoever this devil is, or whatever the devil energy represents. Justice is going to come from disconnecting, from letting go of the devil. Okay? Okay, moving forward. We've got the Three of Wands. All right. That feels better. Waiting for your ships to come in, yeah. But this is ultimately the planning stages and action stages after the Two of Wands where a choice has been made. Okay, Three of Wands with the, oh, the Ten of Cups. Look, okay, all right, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, somebody is, is trying to move forward because they recognize the Ten of Cups is around them. And they're planning on getting to it. They're working on getting to it. They've chosen to pursue this Ten of Cups already. So now they're at the Three of Wands working towards it. And that could very well be... Ooh, sorry, guys. My phone is going off. That could very well be somebody actively working towards letting go of the devil energy. All right? Moving forward, we have... Uh, the Page of Swords in reverse. Okay. 
I just heard lack of information, lack of knowledge, maybe lack of clarity. And it's falling underneath the, the high priestess in reverse and the, and, and the hanged man in reverse. You, ha you feel like you don't know what's going on, but your intuition is kind of still trying to come in and be like, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> mm. Nine, a page of swords in reverse with the six of swords. All right, cool. This, this could also be not needing any more information, not needing to seek anymore, and just needing to, I heard, I, was, I wanted to say turn around and run. But this is not running out of cowardice. This is just getting out of there. Because this devil energy is holding you back. Finally, for you, Libra, we've got the Emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. Or another fire sign, because we have the Queen of Wands here, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, with the Six of Pentacles. Someone, someone is really ready to step up to the plate. And give back. Someone is ready for an equal balance between giving and receiving. And someone also is ready to take their power back. To be the master of their own realm. The master of their domain. Yeah. But really all this is going to take Libra or whoever is connected to you, Libra. All it's really going to take is a, her is a, is a, is a decent hermit moment. Uh, because the way that this is being fought right now is constantly defending against the opposition. But what's really going to help you, what's really going to turn this around for you, is releasing the devil energy. And in the devil energy, I hear in codependence, and allowing your own light to shine. Because that's the ultimate goal of the hermit, to, to, to find deeper light. Um, the, to find the light within yourself, right? And let that shine. All right, let's get into the oracle guidance here from the unicorns. For Libra, for the month of July. Libra, 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 Libra. For Libra. There we go. Okay, what do we have here? Trust. Leap into the unknown. Have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. Okay, so there's also a situation here of what this codependency is, um, represented by the devil, and this, what this, with this four of pentacles, someone doesn't think that they can make it on their own. Someone doesn't think that they can connect or disconnect from whoever this King of Pentacles may be or represents. Or someone doesn't think that they can make it on their own without the help of whatever this devil represents. But the unicorns are saying that you got to trust. And your intuition has been coming through trying to tell you, you got this, boo. You know what I mean? Like, you just got to trust. All right, let's get into the Crystal Mandala message here for the month. For you, Libra. There we go. Right there. We've got the Untamed, Goddess Freya and Amber. So you might want to get some Amber to help you, you know, to work with. Let's see what this says. Number 48. The Untamed. We bring you the empowerment of the Untamed. To be untamed is to be true to oneself without condition. It is freedom, but it is not always easy. There are many belief systems, some of which are considered to be essential and beyond questioning, I'm sorry, and beyond question to mainstream human, human society. 
which would mark an untamed spirit as a dangerous and suspicious creature, even though that untamed spirit serves unconditional love. Yet to be untamed is the only way to discover who you are and live your divine destiny. Behind the clothing, the social masks, and the stories you tell yourself, or that you tell, or that others tell you, there is a beautiful, wild, divine creature that wants out. Uncage that divinity and watch your wild beauty emerge as you and your world transform through raw grace. Reassurance, Libra. Oh, here we go. You will eventually be strong enough to free yourself from the conditioning and belief systems that once hampered your heart and diminished your dreams. The devil. Yeah? In due course, the deprogramming will shift to reprogramming. Instead of just fighting against what has been drummed into your body and mind through fear, the devil, you'll begin to feel free. You will start to embrace new ideas, more loving realities, and put those new beliefs to the test. In time, you will find not only, <coughs> excuse me, not only a way to live that feels authentic to your wild divine nature, but connections with other souls who have gone through their own unplugging process and with whom you will serve your great love affair with life. I'm sorry, who you will share your great love affair with life. Yeah. Okay. There you have it, Libra. So I hope that was helpful for you. Trust. Okay? Trust. You got this. You have a brand new emotional start here. You have ultimate emotional fulfillment. You've got the Ace of Cups. You've got the Ten of Cups. You've got the Two of Cups. You've got the Six of Cups. You are the Emperor here. I feel. I really feel like I'm talking to divine masculine energy with this one. And that would make perfect sense because the divine masculine, if you're on a twin flame journey, the divine masculine really has been struggling with releasing themselves from codependency fear-based reality. Yeah? All right, Libra. There it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you guys for the month of August. Yeah? Take care. Bye.